Hey, what's up everyone? AJ Writes Crypto here. In this video, we are going to talk about Algorand. Thank you to Stake for sponsoring this video. Let's get it. Algorand has been kind of unfairly pushed down harder than other coins, in my opinion. And the morale of, you know, the Algorand community, the Algo fam, it, is, is fairly low. It's, it's fairly low right now. But here's the thing. There are a couple misconceptions about what has actually happened with Algorand lately. First of all, the My Algo hack happened, you know, a good bit ago. And a lot of people perceive that as you know, Algorand got hacked. Listen, Algorand didn't get hacked. Algorand has never been hacked. My Algo was a third party wallet with the name My Algo. And people tied that and did the math in their heads really fast and said, like, oh, like Algorand must have got hacked. Like, Algorand had nothing to do with the creation of My Algo or the reason it got hacked. Okay, so that's number one. Number two here is that Algorand was mentioned as a security in the Bittrex case with the SEC. To be clear, this is how the SEC is trying to do a workaround to call a crypto project a security instead of like going directly to court with them like they're doing with XRP. They tried to do this with nine other coins in the Coinbase case about the, the case for the guy that got hit for insider trading. And they mentioned nine other coins that they called securities at the time there. But guess what? When that case actually settled, those nine coins called securities, that was left out of the equation. Those coins are technically not securities. And just like how the SEC did that with Coinbase, this is what they're trying to do with Algorand and I believe Filecoin and a few other coins in this case with Bittrex. The reality of this situation is, is that as of right now, there is no open case between Algorand and the SEC. Is the SEC trying to use a backdoor method that has not worked yet? Yes. But did Algorand get a notice or a physical form or a lawsuit filed to them through the SEC? No. I know it's fuzzy, but the truth is, as of right now, there is no official case between Algorand and the SEC. That's just a fact. There has been kind of a stir lately, like, you know, on crypto Twitter about Algorand, about like its price action. Like, I know it's really sad right now. Like I said, the Algorand fam has lost a lot of morality. And as an influencer, me, like, you know, I found my footing in crypto Twitter as a crypto influencer in the Algorand community. The first video, the first things I ever really said officially on crypto Twitter just September in 2022 was about Algorand. So I have a lot to owe Algorand. I'm not paid by them. Like I'm not on the Algorand team. I just feel that I align with the ethos of Algorand. If you like want to learn more about the tech and what it's all about, read the book, The Genius of Algorand by Anthony Scaramucci. It's an absolutely great read. From the beginning, like I was on that team and that's the coin I like to talk about, like not shilling it. Like I said, I'm not paid by them or anything, but when, you know, when the price goes down, like so if the price falls like 5%, like I'm not kidding, like 20 to 30 people will message me on Twitter and like taking this out on me. And I'm like, dude, man, like I'm not the person you should be talking to about this. Like I didn't force you to buy Algorand. Yeah, I talked about it because I personally like it, but just because I personally like something doesn't make me responsible that you bought it. I never once told you go buy it right now. I just said the reasons I liked it. And like, I know there's like a line there between like what influencers should or shouldn't do. And that's a discussion that I'm willing to have, but never once did I put a gun to anyone's head and make them buy Algorand. So when Algorand falls and 20 to 30 people message me of all people about the situation, it's kind of frustrating. And this led to the post I put on Twitter last Sunday on May 25th. I said, don't get me wrong. I love Algo and especially Algo fam. This isn't a breakup. I don't plan on selling. I haven't said much because there is zero hype coming from those who are paid to generate it. It is sad. They don't care. Don't care about hype. They should. Algo needs a champion. 
As you can see, this kind of stirred the pot a little bit. And when I said this, this actually came from the heart. I didn't say this with malintent. I wasn't trying to be malicious. I said that because I care. And when I said the part about like, they don't care, it's because someone on the Algorand team pretty high up the ladder was on an interview on YouTube and said straight up that they don't care about hype. When I say hype, I mean attention. And, and let's get one thing straight. Yes, this is 50% about tech and 50% about attention. When a coin like Pepe comes out of the clear blue sky, shout out to them, I mean, they did great. They came out of the clear blue sky, they caught and passed Algorand in market cap. And when people say like, oh, the tech, the tech, the tech, well, I'm like, what about the hype? The hype, the attention, this is the attention business. There's a reason you're watching this video. This is important stuff. And you know, I wanna clean my side of the street. I didn't like want to intentionally throw that Algorand team member under the bus. I never said their name. But at the same time, this is still a conversation worth having. And I'm also not going to, you know, point out a problem without pointing out a solution too. And also like when you look at other projects that have champions like, you know, Charles Hoskinson, Cardano, Ben Gritzel, AGIX, Vitalik Buterin, uh, Ethereum, you know, uh, Richard Hart. So look at the Hex community. Like there are a lot of coins that are really crazy good in tech that are in the top 50 and they should take a page out of Richard Hart's book. I know he's a controversial figure, but one thing he has figured out is the hype factor. And the hype is very important, especially when you have the tech, when you have the utility, the use case to back it up. So it's not a surprise to anyone, this post you know, got a lot of feedback, uh, some positive, some negative. A lot of people completely agree with me on this. So today I talked to John Allen Woods, someone very high up the ladder, out Algorand, and we hashed it out. We talked about all of this, the whole kit and caboodle, and we had a very meaningful conversation. And it's not categorically fair for me to say that the Algorand Foundation doesn't care about hype, because they do. And when I say hype, I mean attention, and money flows where attention goes. So I don't like when people, when you talk about price action, they're like, oh, like, why are you talking about price action? I'm like, dude, like, this is crypto. To suggest that it's a bad thing to not talk about money in crypto, to not talk about price action in crypto, you know how relevant it is? This whole game is speculation. This is a speculative market. This whole game is based around attention. Yes, tech is very important, but you cannot deny how important attention is. Like I said, look at Pepe. So once all the dust settled, I reached out to John Allen Woods. He called me a couple minutes later. If you don't know, John Allen Woods is someone very high up the ladder at Algorand. And him and I had a 20 minute conversation we hashed it out. I asked him a lot of questions and he answered them and we had a very meaningful conversation. And the truth is like, it's not categorically fair for me to say that the Algorand Foundation doesn't care about hype. And when I say hype, I mean attention and money flows where attention goes. So talking about price is very important. And he said that he in fact really, really does care about hype. And he does care about price because the price is connected to the security of the network. That is a fact because if the price goes down really, really far, it becomes that much easier to mess with the integrity of the network. So where am I going with this? Like I said, I'm not going to point out a problem without pointing out a solution. A month or so ago, Cassius Cuvé, if you don't know, Cassius Cuvé is an adamant hip hop artist, a rapper, and he talks about things like Web3 stock market related. And he's very good. He stays on topic. He has bars. He's, he's good. So Cassius and I put our heads together when he came here to Atlanta and we made a music video about Algorand. And, you know, once we got mixed and mastered and the video was done being edited, he was like, man, like, let's release this thing. And I was like, dude, like, I don't know if releasing it's the move. Like, it's a sad bear market right now. Like, this isn't the time to do it. Like we should wait for Algorand to do something good and like piggyback that for like for momentum. And he kept pushing me to do it and I kept saying no. And I'm kind of to the point now where if I'm going to complain about attention, I'm going to create it. So this is what we're doing. I ran this by John and it's all good. We are going to release this video. And when we release the video, we're going to do a giveaway on Twitter and we are going to give $500 out of my own pocket I'm gonna give $100 to five different people in Algorand with the giveaway. And if you get that $100, you also will get an NFT. And if you win the giveaway, you will also win a poster signed by me and Cassius Cuvé and an NFT of the poster to go with it. To add to that, there will be 45 more posters made. So there'll only be 50 posters with the NFT to ever be created ever. And we are going to sell those other 45 posters for $100 a piece. And then all of that money, none of it goes in our pockets, 
All of that money is going to be turned around and used in giveaways to give back to the Algorand community. And altogether, we're giving away over $5,000 to the Algorand community in Algo as a result of this music video. And if I thought Algorand was going to crash and burn, I would not be doing this. I talked to John. It's not like they don't have a plan. It's not like things aren't going to get better in the future. Right now, it's not just not good for them. It's not good for, for anyone at all. So time takes time. We have to be patient. And if we have conviction about something, by God, we have to stick to it. So obviously Cassius and I are really excited to get this video out and to like create that hype, you know? I'm not exactly sure like on the timeline on when we're gonna put it out exactly, but I do know, you know, we have to get the posters made, we have to sign them, we have to get the NFTs made. So there's kind of some back end stuff we have to take care of, but they will be coming out and just stay in the loop on Twitter and you'll know when that's coming out. So if you're out there and you're in the Algorand community, like this one's for you. Like I'm not going anywhere. Like I said, like I'm not selling. I'm just concerned. Like I said everything I said because I care. And as a result of that, this good thing is going to happen for the Algorand community and a bunch of people are going to receive free money in Algorand. And you know, this is just a start for the NFT holders that hold this, you know, none of this money goes to us. The people that hold the NFTs are going to get future bonuses in the future once we kind of work that out. I mean, there's only gonna be 50 people in the community, so it will be a small thing, but maybe it'll grow if Cassius and I do another song together in X, Y, and Z. And also for the exclusive NFT holders, Cassius and I are going to hold either a weekly or a bi-weekly, not sure, but Twitter space that's only for the people who hold the NFTs. And in that space, we are going to put our minds together on what future endeavors, initiatives that we can do to help generate hype in the Algorand family. And also, if you're out there in the Algorand community, know that like, yes, this is risky and it's not going the best right now, but everyone who's a millionaire, everyone who's been successful in trading has got there because they took risk. You have to take that risk to get the reward. Dig your heels in, have conviction, and we're gonna ride this thing out. At least I'm going to anyway. I can't tell you what to do, but that's what I'm going to do. So with that said, my name is AJ Rice Crypto. Thank you for watching this video. Let's not complain about the hype, let's create it. That's all I got, be blessed, have a great weekend.